All right, in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to optimize perimeter and area. Once again, optimize means maximize or minimize. Okay, so we're gonna op we're gonna maximize area and we're gonna minimize perimeter. Okay, maximize area, minimize perimeter, and I promise you it'll be a good one. All right, now it wants the dimensions. Okay, of a quadrilateral and a quadrilateral ah, quadrilateral means four sides, and we want to maximize the area. We talked about this yesterday, but given each perimeter, how do you find the dimensions of a quadrilateral that has the max area. First of all, you have to tell me what kind of shape this would be. Four sides, max area, we're talking about, that's right, a square. This means all the sides are going to be the same, and you can determine the dimensions by merely taking each perimeter value and dividing by four. Why don't we do it with 110? So, let's take 110's perimeter, and I go 110 divided by four. That value is 27.5 meters. Therefore, the dimensions are going to be 27.5 meters by 27.5 meters. Because, again, it's a square. So all the dimensions are going to be the same. And those dimensions right here will produce the, minim uh, the maximum area given a perimeter of 110 meters. There you go. That's the first question. What happens when we have three sides? We talked about this yesterday. In this case, you're not going to have, so not a square. It's not going to be a square. The dimensions are going to be different. You're going to have a rectangle. It's going to be a rectangle. So a rectangle has a length and a width. You can determine the length, the longest side, by merely doing L equals perimeter divided by 2. So you go 110 divided by 2, and you found the length. How do you find the width? The width is going to be the length divided by 2. So once you find the length, all you do is half the length, and you get a width of 27.5 meters. Therefore, my dimensions that produce a maximum area, given a perimeter of 110 for three sides is going to be 55 meters by 27.5 meters. So that's when you're given three sides. So let's recap. If you're given four sides, you've got a square, and you just take the perimeter and divide it by four, all sides are the same. When you've got three sides, no, no, it's a little trickier. You don't have a square, you have a rectangle. You take the perimeter, divide it by two, that's just the length. To get the width, you take the length and divide it by 2. You've got the length and width. You write it out. What happens when you've got a quadrilateral and you want to minimize the perimeter? Okay, so this is four sides, and you want to minimize the perimeter given each area. This is a little trickier. What you have to do is you have to determine all possible combos of numbers that multiply to 20 because this is an area, right? So you want to determine all possible combos that multiply to 20. So what are they? 1 and 20. You've got um, 4 and 5. And what else? 10 and 2. And all you have to do here, folks, is find the perimeter of each combo. So if I treat this guy's the length, this guy's the width, I can apply the perimeter calculation and determine the perimeter for each combo. So for this combo, 1 and 20, the perimeter will be 42 meters. For this combo, the perimeter is going to be 18 meters. So far, the second combo has the least perimeter. For this combo, I have 24 meters. So clearly, the combo that gives me the least perimeter is the one dead center. So this is my answer. 4 meters by 5 meters. 
Now, in number four, it says Nicole has eight meters of fencing. What they just gave you was the perimeter value, eight meters. She plans to build a rectangular shaped pen. The pen will have a fence on three sides. The fourth side will be the wall of the house. Nicole is considering making the pen one meter by six meters. Now what that means, folks, is that that has to be one meters. So what other possible whole number dimensions could she use? The only condition is she needs to have eight meters of fencing, meaning the perimeter has to be eight. Well, let me draw out the pen. What other numbers can I put here? Well, if I do four over there, I can do two meters and two meters over here. That will still produce a perimeter of eight because two plus two plus four equals eight. That works. So you're tasked with the other combo. What other combo can I use in order to still produce a perimeter of eight? So I want you guys to work on that. So what are these numbers going to be? The only condition is those numbers have to add up to eight. Once you do that, here's what I want you to do. I want you to determine the area of all three combos. So I'll do one for you right here. The area of the first combo is just going to be the length, which is six, multiplied by the width, which is one. Six by one is going to be six meters squared. The area over here is going to be two times four, so work that out. And then once you find the dimensions over here, perform the length and width calculation, and then determine which area is going to be the largest. That will be the, uh, the work for number four. For number five, folks, here's something we didn't talk about. It's saying it wants the max area, maximize the enclosed area. Does it say in this question how many sides there are? The answer is no. It doesn't say quadrilateral. So I know that it's not a four-sided polygon. So you have to know the shape that maximizes the area when no sides are given. That shape, folks, is by default a circle. Which means that it has, if it has a perimeter of 100, that's actually the circumference of 100 meters. Okay, so you need to determine the dimensions of your circle, and then once you determine the dimensions, meaning the radius, you need to determine the area using the formula pi r squared. So that's your task. You can do it. In number six, it says determine the shape and dimensions of a quadrilateral. Ah, four sides that would maximize the enclosed area that has a total perimeter of 20, uh, excuse me, 200 meters. What is the shape, four sides, that maximizes the area? That is a square. What are the dimensions? Well, each dimension is the same, and they're all going to be the perimeter divided by four. So I have 100 divided by, sorry, 200 divided by four, which is 100 over two, which is 50 meters. So the dimensions are 50 meters by 50 meters. What is the max area if those are the dimensions? Well, the area would just be 50 by 50, 2,500 meters squared. I just take 50 and I multiply by 50. All right. Now, what about seven? Seven seems kind of funky. What type of regular polygons are possible that would have a perimeter of 24 meters? Well, let's see. At minimum, I need three sides. That is a triangle. Then I can have four sides. Okay. I can have, um, oh, by the way, that would be a square. Okay. Then I can have five sides. Okay. 
I can have six sides, seven, eight sides, so on and so forth. Um, I think they only want uh, a triangle, square, hexagon, octagon. So they're, they're going to skip over pentagon. That's fine. I guess they want to keep it to as whole number as possible. So they want to skip over pentagon. We're going to go with hexagon, octagon, hashtag UFC. Okay. And what are the options do they want to look at? A 12 gone. I haven't even heard of that before. Um, but, and a, uh, and a 24 gone. The reason why they're using those two those numbers is because they're all um, numbers that 24 is divisible by. So if I have a triangle that's three sides, what would each side length have to be to have a perimeter of 24? Eight. Right? Because if I add eight plus eight plus eight, I get 24. I just do 24 divided by three. What would 24 divided by 4 look like? Uh, 6, 6, 6, 6. What would 24 divided by 6 look like? 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, and 4. What would 24 divided by 8 look like? 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Now, what about a 12-sided shape? I'm going to skip over 9 because 24 is not divisible by 9. I'm going to skip over 10 sides because 24 is not divisible by 10. I'm going to skip over 11 sides because 24 is not divisible by 11. So what about 12 sides? Each side length would be 2. Each side for a 12 gone, meaning 12 sides, each side is... two meters. So what about a 24 sided shape, 24 gone? Each side will be one meter. Okay. Now, which of the above regular polygons would maximize the area? Here's where we need to do a little bit of thinking. If you notice, if I increase the number of sides, guys, the shape is starting to look more and more like a circle. So out of all of these shapes, three sides, four sides, uh, six sides, eight sides, 12 sides, 24 sides, which shape will have the most sides? The 24 gone, the 24 sided shape has mo the most sides. What that means is looks it looks closest to a circle. And a circle has the largest area by default. Therefore, the, this 24-sided piece will have max area. Does that mean that I can have a shape with more and more sides and that area will be slightly bigger than the last? Yes. But if I cap it at 24 sides, because that's pretty much the biggest shape I can have such that I have whole number dimensions, if I cap it at 24 sides, then that area will be the highest possible area given all the possible combos that I've used so far. A triangle, a square, hexagon, octagon. So yeah, I hope this was informative. Let's recap. So if, I, if it's talking about a quadrilateral with max area, it's a square. If it's talking about a quadrilateral with three sides, it's a rectangle, and you half the perimeter to get the length, half the length to get the width. If it's talking about minimum perimeter, write out all possible combos that multiply to 20, okay, or multiply to the area, and then add and then apply the perimeter calculation and see which perimeter is the lowest. Okay, that's how you do that question. But that's only if you have whole number dimensions. Okay? Um, for number four, you had to determine all possible combos that give you a perimeter of eight, um, and then you have to multiply all of their dimensions to get area, and then you have to pick which area is the biggest. Okay. Here, 
Um, by default, if it doesn't say it's a quadrilateral, the max area is always toward a circle. Okay, so you have to determine the dimensions of a circle. Number six was much of the same, quadrilateral, four sides, it's a square. And then if you have multiple polygons, more and more sides means the polygon will look more and more like a circle. If it looks more and more like a circle, it maximizes the area, so you pick the one with the most sides. That's it. I hope this video was informative. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.